Rolf Schmidt and Petra Roglin have worked for almost 40 years to make Sinai Divers one of the most experienced diving operations on the Sinai Peninsula. From an early age, Petra spent time on the beaches swimming and snorkeling, while Rolf didn't even get close to the ocean until he was 22. This German-born couple moved to the Red Sea in 1975 and organized the first scuba tours for divers from Europe. This often meant traveling along the Sinai coast with jeeps and VW buses to dive and explore remote, undiscovered sites. By 1977, they had established their first small diving center in Sharm El Sheikh. People from around the globe were coming to the Red Sea to discover this magnificent wonder of the world. In 1980, because the Sinai Peninsula was returned to Egyptian sovereignty, they left to run a resort and diving center in the Philippines, but returned in 1982 and established Sinai Divers in one of the first Egyptian hotels built in Sharm El Sheikh. They immediately began construction of the luxurious Ghazala One, the first liveaboard dive vessel in the Egyptian Red Sea. A second boat, Ghazala Voyager, followed a few years later. Over the years, Sinai divers expanded, and today there are a total of six dive centers and a small 50-room dive resort. Throughout almost 40 years, they have hosted, supported, and worked with film crews and many famous people from the world over. Despite all the difficulties they encountered while living and working in the Middle East, Rolf Schmidt and Petra Roglin consider Sinai and the Red Sea their home and first love. <laughs>